playing sex with more combat. Yeah, that's that's romantic. All right. Uh, your next performer coming up to you is coming to you all the way from Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, she's going to be opening for Eliza Schlesinger here. Super, please welcome Gwen Suckle. Drinking? Yeah. 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 Anybody using drugs? Yeah. I'm not a cop. You can tell me. It's cool. I did. I did uh, some drugs before the show. I did. Uh, I just did a little bit of acid before. Just, uh, just a little bit. A little bit. It's, uh, it was antacid. Uh, so, uh, uh, here in 2020, I'm trying to get healthier, trying to give up soda, so no more, no more Coke for me, no more cans of Coke, no more Coke, can, can, no, I'm trying to give up cocaine, you guys. Uh, so, um, I'm pretty proud, though, uh, uh, this time about a year ago, uh, I uh, gave up bath salts. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah. It's been nothing but showers for me for the last 365 days. Um, I was driving down here today from Indianapolis and I saw a sign on the side of the road that said, ending drunk driving starts with you. And I was like, um, doesn't it start with E? <laughs> that was a spelling joke. <laughs> Uh, I prefer to write with pens. Pencils are my number two choice. Uh, stop. Uh, don't approach me. Uh, very fortunate that I get to travel around the United States, go different places, tell jokes, do comedy. Sometimes I'm worried, though, that my jokes won't land in other cities because of regional dialect differences. You know, different places have different words for different things, you know? Uh, like, recently I was down in Tennessee, uh, and down there they call them car tags, and here we call them license plates. Has anybody ever heard of this? Yeah. Um, and down there they call them skin tags, and where I'm from we call them genital warts. <laughs> so it was confusing. <laughs> I was supposed to last spring go down to the Bahamas and do comedy, uh, but I had to cancel my trip because uh, last year um, the Bahamas got hit by Hurricane Dorian and they had terrible flooding all over the island. Do you guys remember this? Yeah. Um, they, they, I, I had read that they, they said that uh, the certain parts of the Bahamas had received 55 inches of rain in a span of less than 24 hours, which they said was enough rainwater to fill the Empire State Building, which is a 100-story building, 33,000 times, which is crazy, right? Like, I can't imagine a more relevant unit of volume. <laughs> you know? I mean, like, if there's one thing the average human being understands, it's how much liquid fits in a hundred story building. Right? Yeah. Finally! <laughs> At Starbucks, we call it a van tea. <laughs> Anything to keep from using the metric system, that's what I say. <laughs> I, I am divorced. Uh, normally it's easier to tell because I'm wearing more leopard print. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got divorced on Legal Zoom, the, the website Legal Zoom, which was like the saddest game of Mad Libs ever. Right? Like, what's a proper noun for your dad was right? <laughs> so, turns out, super easy to get divorced on Legal Zoom uh, when all you're trying to do is split up half an ounce of weed and two copies of Showgirls on Laserdisc. <laughs> Virtually no arguments. <laughs> so, uh, so I am back out on the dating scene, uh, which is tough sometimes. Uh, I have uh, a little, little trouble finding dates sometimes, and I think I think I figured out why. I think it's because I don't kiss until the third date. Uh, I'm pretty old-fashioned like that, um, which makes sex on the first two dates. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I, uh, I like to go out with men sometimes, which I know, again, is surprising because uh, it looks like I don't like to go out with men at all. Uh, I get it. I'm really leaning into this bisexual substitute art teacher situation I've got going on. I, I, I have a mirror. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you kids in ceramics. Ah. <laughs> No, but I do occasionally date men. It is my one flaw. Uh, and I like to date two very specific types of men. I like to date men with knuckle tattoos, because um, they look like they can really finger bang, you know? <laughs> like if the hamburger helper hand had knuckle tattoos, <laughs> it would be over for me. <laughs> Oh, they'd be like, fake tits, real beef. Uh, in my head, that's what the hamburger helper's knuckle tattoos said. Uh, but no, so yeah, guys with uh, knuckle tattoos and beards. Um, I like to go out with dudes with beards because then I don't have to shave my bush, right? You know? <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys. I wasn't going to do that anyway. <laughs> uh, but so there's this phenomenon that happens when you when you when you meet a guy with a beard nowadays. I feel like where you could tell me the last three men I went on on a date with were 25 or 65, and I would be like, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, no no questions from me, right? Like they they all just have these like giant timeless lumberjack beards that look like they're stored like some extra stew in there for later. You know? They all whittle. Uh, and have like hard opinions about liniments, you know? Um, and it's so weird how that beard ages them, right? It's like, like uh, one day you're Mumford and Sons, the next day you wake up, it's ZZ Top, you know? <laughs> At what age does it go from hipster to hip replacement? <laughs> At a certain age, your beard screams, sit on my face. <laughs> and then at another point, it screams, sit on my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a blind date recently. Uh, it was pretty cool. He had a dog. I'll wait uh, for all of you to get that joke. <laughs> Uh, so, prior to the to, to us meeting, uh, he we you know we're getting to know each other on the telephone, and I asked him to uh, send me a dick pic. I, I asked for it. I asked for it. I wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I asked him to send me. I you know I want to know like how much do I need to limber up before you know like like how, what am I working with here? Um, so he sends me a dick pic and you know, he is in this picture he is holding his own genitals as if he is posing for one of those awkward newborn baby photo shoots it's like <laughs> like it looked like he was trying to sell me a very expensive bottle of wine in a french restaurant like <laughs> 1992 was a very good year for Dick, yes. Uh, <laughs> waft the cork, yes. Uh, and I took one look at that and I was like, damn, that is impressive. Who took that picture? <laughs> I hope it's a drone. <laughs> I hope he has like a dick pic taken drone, you know. <laughs> Uh, my boss told me uh, recently that I'm really killing it at work. Uh, I'm a hospice nurse. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah. So, uh, a lot of people think it's a very sad job, and, and you know, in a lot of ways it is a very sad job. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you get, why are you talking? <laughs> So, um, <laughs> so uh, sometimes it is a very challenging job, uh, but uh, you, get, you get to see a lot of really uh, special, nice things as well, right? You know, you get to you get to talk to people about like, uh, what do you want it to look like when you die? You know, what uh, what's on your bucket list? 
right? You know, and some of the things that people tell me are just so touching, right? I like I met this one patient, and he um, he had grown up near the ocean, and before he died, he wanted to go back uh, to where he was born and fall asleep to the sound of the ocean waves just one more time. And then I met I met another I met another lady. Her grandson was the starting quarterback at Mississippi State, and she wanted to go down to Starkville and see him start in just one game. And then uh, I, I'll never forget one of my favorite patients. is so sweet. She's 78 years old, terminal brain cancer, so weak she can barely lift her head up off the pillow. And she tells me that she wants to go see Kiss. <laughs> That's her bucket list item. She wants to go see Kiss. And I can't tell you how, all how hard it was for me to look her in the eye with tears welling up as I told her that Kiss fucking sucks. <laughs> have some words with her though about their kiss fucking sucks. Kids, uh, <laughs> I mean they suck but they don't fucking suck, right? I mean, I had some nostalgia for my childhood.